Do you have a terrible rounded back whenever you deadlift? I can fix that. What's up guys, my name is Sutton Hay and today I'm going to be talking about the deadlift and my journey, ugh, my process, whatever, about how I went from a terrible rounded back deadlift to the not so bad one I have right now. Now before I get into all of this, a word about credibility. I am a beginner. I probably don't know as much as you. You might be stronger than me. I'm perfectly okay if somebody with a bigger, better deadlift than me says, I don't need your voice because I already know what I'm talking about because I'm strong. That's fine. Do whatever you want. This video isn't for you. But if you have constant pain whenever you're deadlifting, if your back is rounded and you can't fix it li and literally no one's advice is working, I would advise going and checking all the advice before you come here. But if none of it works, I think I can help you because that's my story too. And so I'm going to make this a few parts I don't know yet um, and post them weekly so I can do it right. This one I'm just going to kind of give the intro and overview. Um, I'm going to show a clip here of my deadlift from just a few months ago. It's a sumo deadlift so I should have a more upright and stable torso. But as you can see, it's a terrible looking lift. And that's kind of where I was. And now, a little bit later than that, I have a much cleaner setup. It doesn't cause me pain anymore. And I feel like I'm actually making progress on the deadlift for the first time. And so, as a brief overview, I'm going to look at this thing very analytically because that's how I think. I want to discover what's the problem, weakness or position oriented, maybe both, and then talk about both of those. I want to talk about how my leverages and body shape contributed to the problem and how I can use them for a better solution later on. And then um, kind of my plans for progressing in the deadlift, a little program there at the end for anybody who wants it. So I've been in the gym since I was 13 years old now. I'm now 18 years old, 240 pounds got a 365 squat, a 435 deadlift, and a 295 bench. So again, you're way stronger than me, fine, this video isn't for you. But I started lifting about four or five, yeah, about five years ago. That's when I started learning how to lift and when I started devoting my mind to it. But it wasn't until the fall of 2015 when I really started taking this thing seriously. I did all my growing whenever I came to college here. I went from 190 pounds to 252 pounds in like eight months. Um, crazy transformation, a lot of size and strength gain, and that's part of what helped fix the problem. In this video, I want to give a principle that I think just works um, while I make the rest of it, so you can start thinking in terms of uh, in terms of programming for how to fix this problem. It's the Bigger muscles have better form. That's something I may have talked about earlier. You see, people with big muscles can have more control over them. You see this whenever guys do like a pec dance on the beach. It always used to annoy me because I couldn't do it. And then you build bigger muscles and suddenly you gain control that wasn't there before. Whenever Alan was in the gym with me, you know, just a couple months ago, he, after a back day, he's like, I had no idea I could flex my back. And it's true, as your muscles get bigger and stronger, you gain more control over them. In gaining control over all the muscles in your back, your shoulders, your core, your hips is key to fixing your deadlift. And so where you can start is with light bodybuilding work that isn't going to hurt you, that's going to make these muscles bigger to the point where you can feel them. Because if you can feel them every step from here on out, it's going to be way easier. So that's it for the intro. I hope you guys stay tuned and definitely share this around me because I know this is a more common problem than people talk about. I'm going to talk about advice that doesn't work or didn't work for me. I'm going to talk about the few pieces of advice that do work. And then I'm going to give a roadmap for how to improve your deadlift as time goes on.